Hello everyone. Welcome back to the video series on Web Technologies Lab. So in the previous video, you have seen uh, the home page. Now we are going to continue and create the second page, which is login page. That is login.html. So go to the file menu and click save as. So we are going to save this page as login. Okay. And file type is html save okay now file is saved as login.html now we have to make some changes here let's, let's change the title to login page okay and the heading also to login page of course they can be different but i am giving the same same text here and there login page and login page so we don't need the image let's remove the image now we don't need this paragraph also right now we have to create something called a form okay in html a form is used to collect data and send it to server okay it collects the data from user and send it to server so form tag has an attribute called action. So in the form, when you click submit button, where should the data go? That is the target page that is specified here. Since we are not going to have any server page, I am giving blank. Okay. And closing form tag. Now within the opening and closing font tags, we have to create HTML controls. So one HTML control is label, okay, where we want to display the text as username. Okay. Now beside this label, we will create an input control using the tag input and type equal to text. So text means text box or text field. Okay, so type is used to specify the type of input control and another attribute name equal to txt user. So for now, just ignore this attribute. I will explain you what is the use of this in the next program. Okay, for now, just ignore it. Now break line, mm, another break line. Okay. So again, label, this time it is password, again label, okay, now let's copy this again, now this time we have to give password or password field, now this is txt password, that's all, and after this we need two buttons, okay. So you can use input type equal to a special button called submit okay and value that is the text you want to display on the button which is login okay so similarly you can create another special button called reset so this reset button is used to clear the values okay i will show you in the output so the value I am giving is clear. So that's all. This is the login page. So let's go and see the output of this login page. So this is the output. So we create a text field and password field. So what is the difference between text field and password field is in text field, whatever we enter, you can see. But in password field, it does not display what the user is entering. It, is, it will display the dots like this. Okay. And when you click login, nothing happens because we didn't give any value in the uh, action here. Okay, nothing happens. So I will show you the use of clear button or reset button. So if you type something and you think that it is wrong, you can click on clear. Okay, so everything is good. right. So this is the login page. Okay. Now let's create the third page which is 
registration user registration page so this will be somewhat uh, lengthy not too lengthy but not too short so file save as register okay and type is html save now let's change the title to user registration okay and the heading also to user registration so the form action is same and here we don't want username we know we need first name of the user so let's change this to txtf name and we don't need password yes we need password but before that we need another text field okay so this will be the last name so txt l name okay our next password is same like this okay and after this we need two more text fields okay after password we need email right and this will become txt email and after email we have mobile number okay and this will become txt mobile right and here for address we have to use a new pair of tags called text area okay and for this there are two attributes one is rows let's give 10 rows and columns that is number of characters in each row let's give columns as 30 okay and close the text area okay. and let's give two break lines right so that's all and here instead of login let's view register so that's all this is the user registration form let's see the output uh, so here is the output of register.html page so you can view the values and some mobile number and address okay i didn't display any uh, text before the address that is text area so we need to view some text here before the text area like you can copy this and view the text as address okay and let's view one break line here that is enough now refresh yes now you can see the text address right so that's all this is the registration page and the last page left out left out is the catalog page we will see that in the next video thank you